consensus on a number of areas. There were a, a large number where we wanted to have a, a deeper conversation, and we would also recommend uh, extending or renewing the, uh, the committee. Um, I want to th personally thank the committee for their hard work. The, the list of names is at the, uh, the back, a large number of people who are very uh, active and very engaged. Uh, my own responsibilities for Dublin next year mean I, I can participate but not chair, and my I would recommend Cliff Dunn, who was uh, instrumental in helping us finalise the report as uh, chair, assuming you uh, agree to uh, renew or extend the committee again next year. The report is there. It has been online for some time, and I'm happy to take uh, questions here. Hi, my name is Petraea Mitchell. Um, my question is, if the committee is extended for another year, uh, how would people be able to volunteer for it? Uh, my intention is to appoint uh, Cliff Dunn as uh, chair with power to co-opt, reject, and accept memberships. Okay. So it would be down to him. <clears throat> okay, so, uh, and some procedure will be announced by him Yes. Uh, at the time. Okay, thank you. Any further questions to the, the back there? Uh, Lisa Paddle, not a question. Motion to thank Vince for his amazing work herding the cats. <laughs> Any objection to thanking Vince for the cats? <laughs> they were mostly Good. friendly cats. <laughs> <laughs> right, thank you very much, Vince. And that's dealt with most of section E and section F, so we can now go back to the top. And. Uh, <laughs> Did you get a report from um, the no, not from Folly and not from okay. uh, Walk on okay. Runners. Runners. Okay. I'll ask for them again tomorrow. Okay. Right. Take a deep breath. <laughs> the, uh, we have our usual standing rule changes, business, no resolutions, business passed on, and new amendments. For time, I propose to set ten, five minutes for everything except for D5 the controversial one with the fan, Hugo, fan and professional art Hugos, for which I propose 20 minutes. Does anybody object to setting that as a blanket set of times? Sorry? Right. And no. I'm trying to get through. Oh, it doesn't matter who objected. No. In that case, I will make a motion myself to uh, set those times. Would somebody on up here care to second it? Second. Thank you. In, uh, okay. Therefore, they seem to me reasonable and it'll get us through quicker. Um, would you care to state your reason for objection? Um, my reason for objection is for most of the... I'm sorry, can well, you come, up, come to the microphone and state your name? Okay. Oh, you can bring no. No, 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 no. So, Get the name anyway. Oh, I didn't know she was on this. Oh, no. State your name. Wow, that's for a tall person. <laughs> okay, so my name is Alex Axe, and I'm objecting mostly for item D4 because after speaking with Marguerite yesterday, who is who is with Escape Artists, I think there needs to be more discussion about the language for podcast. Right. Because there's a problem. Uh, excuse yeah. me, if I, I yep. so uh, we just recently, last year I believe, adopted a slightly new procedure. So the procedure now is supposed to be that the chair just specifies a time and we, we vote on that immediately. And if it's defeated, then the whole mechanism of not filling the blanks and the whole thing occurs. So the right yep. thing you know, to do would be, for example, to vote on five minutes here or my show of hands or whatever. I mean, I, I will note that the only one I object to is, is less time for D4. So if you want to like, Reword okay. that for and say five minutes for everything, but D4 and D5, I'll keep my mouth shut. We can always extend time anyway. Oh. Every time, Alex. Thank you, Alex. Uh, all right, let's try with five minutes for everything and 
20 minutes on D4 and D5. Any objections to that? Terry, sit down. <laughs> you can't make me sit down when I'm not in my um, thing of Sergeant in Arms. And this is me, the WISFUS member, Terry Neal. Um, I, I think we need more time for the Lodestar thing. So I wonder if it would be uh, more conducive to d just do it one at a time instead of as a, as a lump. Right, I was just trying to save us time. <laughs> doesn't work, does it? Yeah. No, <laughs> it doesn't. Yep. My name is Kate Secor, and I have a point of parliamentary. Talk louder. And I have a point of parliamentary inquiry. Yep. When we were going through things one by one, there was an opportunity for the membership to rise and either object to consideration or move to postpone indefinitely. Now that we're going through things in a lump like this, what is the mechanism for that specific motion for individual items on the agenda? Postpone indefinitely would still be in order at uh, consideration. Uh, sometime afternoon in the uh, 20 minutes. Ah. No. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yep. <laughs> yes, certainly. Well, I'm, I'm, the, I'm, yes. <laughs> I'm on the head table. In the While I'm doing this, a note to people at varying heights. First, push down on this or pull up on it, then adjust this to get it to you. It works much better that way. Uh, uh, Mr. No, Mr. Chairman, I do not yield. <laughs> yep. Thank you. Uh, that's right. Thank you. Okay. Mr. Chairman, um, the, the, uh, the motion to postpone indefinitely is actually only in order at the preliminary business meeting. Um, perhaps it would be, uh, may I suggest it might be a better, uh, once, if you set a blanket debate time, mm -hmm. to then go through the items yeah. and just say what you did, the debate time is on that. Now, you, uh, if I might suggest an attempt to sort out a default debate time is to give once again your proposed debate times and then ask if there's anybody who wishes any of any one of those items taken and dealt with separately. That's a possibility. Right, no, let's just go through them. <laughs> Start up. Should abandon that, therefore, since everyone seems to have different opinions. Pity. <laughs> All right, let's look at the standing rule changes. Item A1, restricting ratification amendments. I say five minutes on that. We can actually deal with that here if anybody wishes to speak to it. Does anybody first have, have any different debate time? Seeing none, five minutes is set as debate time. Does anybody wish to use some of that debate time and talk about this, or shall we leave it till tomorrow? At the back. Oh, uh, no, Cliff. 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 Ah. I believe Cliff is yielding to that. Yes. Okay. You can speak first if you want to. Um. Ah. Uh. Yeah. One of the makers is rising. Absolutely. Sorry. Uh, Mr. Chairman, my name is Cliff Dunn. Uh, the primary purpose for this, as indicated in our commentary, was that there has been there there's been a, been a tendency for attempts to amend things in a substantial way at the uh, ratification meeting, and we do feel that it would be much better if the membership at least knew if an, a major amendment was coming down the pike. There's a, the underlying concern was that you could move to either suspend the rules or overrule the chair as to whether something was a uh, greater versus lesser amendment and it, the business meeting could basically be ambushed and overrun by, in some years, a re relatively small and motivated crowd, thus seriously altering an, an amendment that was proposed. The two-year ratification procedure exists for a reason and we wanted to ensure that people were not caught by surprise. The speech against the uh, standing rule change. Anyone wish to speak against it? Seeing none, we may as well consider it now. Uh, those in favour of the making the standing.